Hey heroes, welcome to the Heroes Institute. Damien here, and today is going to be a rather quick video since I have to rush off to go overseas, so I might not be posting videos uh, soon, but I'll do my best. So we're going to have a, we're going to talk about health and uh, more specifically myostatin, what I call the unwanted protein, and that's a bit of a uh, a downer because usually we associate protein with something good and how protein is like a build, you know, helps us build awesome bodies. But if you're like me, all these people called ectomorphs, the ectomorphs are the ones that uh, find it hard to put on, uh, build muscle mass, you will find this video very useful because going to the gym five times a week, if you're going to the gym five times a week, hitting the, you know, the weights very hard as like every single day, chugging down protein powders and you realize you know what, I only gained like this tiny bit of muscle. There's a reason why, and the reason why is this gene called MSTN. Um, I don't know what it stands for, but it's basically a gene that creates a protein called myostatin. Now, myostatin's primary job is to inhibit muscle growth. I know, eh? What a, what a party pooper, this myostatin. So, if you have, the thing is, if you have high levels of myostatin, then you would naturally be smaller, like you have a smaller frame and it would be very hard to put on muscles because myostatin stops you from building muscle. It inhibits you. Now, and if you, conversely, if you have low levels of myostatin, then you would bulk up really easily. So a lot of bodybuilders naturally have lower levels of myostatin. It's in, genetically encoded into their DNA, so they don't really produce enough myostatin that, yeah. So people like Arnold Schwarzenegger, that's all the one I can think of because that's the only bodybuilder body, body I know. But you know, he naturally has a bigger physique and it's easy for him to put on muscle. And I'm sure you can probably met people that are just massive, massive and they don't, they probably barely go to the gym. They probably go once or twice, but they just seem to put, put on a lot of muscle. So there you have it. You can really, you can just blame your genes, <laughs> your genes, okay? That you can't put on muscle. It's not because you're lazy, it's because this, this, this myostatin is stopping you from growing and yeah, so today's video is about we're going to talk about ways on how to kind of inhibit myostatin or lower the levels of myostatin. It's also interesting to note that scientists have known about this gene for a long time and they, they actually, uh, they, they somehow created, um, I don't know what they do, use gene splicing and they kind of turned off this gene in animals. So if you have, if you Google Belgian blue cow or or just type in myostatin animals, you'll see these animals, certain animals that have been that have their genes manipulated uh, to remove myostatin or the MSTN gene factor. They're like huge. Here's one of the cows that I kind of googled. Now, so this is the, the crux of the video. How do we get rid of this pesky protein? That's a really good question. There are, uh, the good thing is there are a few different ways that you can, uh, or strategies you can use to inhibit myostatin. And the first one is quite obvious, exercise. More specifically, high intensity resistance training. So the key words here is intensity and resistance. So lifting very heavy weights and um, making it completely intense making it so intense that you feel like you're going to die has been, or they've done studies where they, uh, people that increase the intensity of exercises like doing supersets and increasing their weights and reducing the duration uh, between sets showed an increased, um, well, so increased inhibition of myostatin and that in turn helps, you know, help you build more muscle. So, you know, doing really heavy weights and doing supersets and those kind of things that those type of exercises that make you feel like you're going to die is actually really good for you when it comes to building size. Now, the next one is to support your immune system. And that's, that's you know, like, okay, what, what does that have to do with myostatin? Because things like um, inflammation, stress, uh, infections, they can all com com compromise your immune system. So whenever your immune system is compromised, your body diverts energy from uh, building itself to repairing itself. So basically the more healthy you are, the less time you'll be sick, so the more energy you can use to build yourself. 
And also things like uh, cortisol or stress, those type of hormones interfere with testosterone and all these an anabolic um, mechanisms in your body. So it's it's basically being healthy, just you know, avoiding sugar, uh, trans fats, and just eating healthy, like you know, anti-inflammatory foods like omega threes, um, you know, foods that support your immune system like garlic, echinacea, ginger, and just being healthy, okay? So, yeah, basically. Now, the next one is an uh, interesting one. Sleep like a baby. Okay? Sleep like a baby, meaning sleep 8 to 12 hours, even maybe 14 hours, probably that's pushing it. But the more you sleep, it's, it's quite logical. The more you sleep, the more time you allow your body to regenerate and recover and grow. That's the kind of misconception about sleep. People think that if you sleep too much, it's kind of bad. Yes, to an extent, but if you're an athlete, especially an elite athlete, you need all that time to repair because you've been damaging, you've been thrashing your body constantly. And it's not like your body can repair that fast. Like, you know, there, there's a limit to how fast your body can repair. Apart from, you know, when people take anabolic steroids, then yeah, you can recover faster. But all the t if you look at if you Google any kind of uh, elite athlete, like you know, um, especially you know like Usain Bolt, they they train so hard that their body becomes so I guess uh, tired and destroyed that they need all this time to recuperate. So and by sleeping more, you allow your you give your body uh, you allow your body to produce more human growth hormone, which is necessary to uh, build more muscle as well. Now, some more interesting ones is this chemical compound called epicatechin. Um, and it's a polyphenol that is found in a lot of polyphenol, sorry, um, excuse my accent, that is found in a lot of foods like especially green tea, which has epigallate, catechin gallate, whatever, epigallo catechin gallate, a e g c g, you know, and that's one of the most powerful. Um, polyphenols that um, that have been shown to reduce myostatin levels and it also increases folistatin, folistatin which inhibits uh, also further inhibits myostatin um, so it's like a t it does two things at once it kind of it lot reduces my level of statins and it also inhibits it from um, it's it's binding it to receptor sites so uh, from especially on muscle sites where you uh, need it kind of tells the muscle to stop growing stop yeah so epicatechin those type of foods anything uh, that has these polyphenols like dark chocolate green tea very good for you now next one is fasting as I mentioned in one of my other videos fasting is very beneficial in there's hundreds of benefits I don't want to go too much into it but um, it's interesting they showed there's some studies that showed that fasting actually um, changed the expression of myostatin so when you fast you actually get increased in myostatin which is bad in our case because we don't want myostatin and but the good thing is when you fast for a certain period of time and then you refeed or we start eating again the myostatin your myostatin levels plummet they just they were, they were shown to decrease after refeeding introducing food back into your system so you can kind of capitalize on this when when you uh, on the decrease phase of myostatin when it gets inhibited after when you uh, refeed so in the beginning when you fast you know myostatin levels are high so you can protect the immune system and divert uh, so because you don't want to kind of build muscle without any kind of resources so it makes sense to conserve energy conserve um, you know body's resources so and then at the end of it that's when my sentence are lower, so that's when you want to kind of um, uh, recover. You want to uh, build muscle when my sentence levels are lower, so you kind of time it uh, at the refeed phase. Some some other methods uh, that have been shown to decrease my are testosterone. So testosterone, as we all know, is like the miracle kind of hormone that makes a man a man. You know, muscles, increased muscles. Um, Confidence, you know, all, all those kind of good things. <laughs> kind of think of, kind of think of it, the examples of why you know increased bone strength and um, 
yeah, anyway. So, testosterone has been shown to inhibit myostatin. Because it makes sense, because testosterone is an anabolic uh, hormone that tr is growing, so you don't want something that helps your body to grow. You don't want something to kind of counteract it. And the last one I'd like to mention, these, these are, I'm a big fan of um, natural methods. However, these, these last two, testosterone, uh, which you can take as a supplement as well, um, the, last, the very last one is dried egg yolk isolate. So there has been some research that has shown um, that the dried egg yolk isolate, folostatin, folostatin, sorry, has is a natural inhibitor of myostatin. And then there have there have been studies. Uh, let me see. The Journal of International Society of Sports Nutrition showed that subjects that uh, took this uh, isolate or egg yolk isolate grew their muscles not twofold but not even I mean threefold to fourfold 4.2 I think it was in the study so their muscles just kind of exploded in growth and it's because myostatin um, uh, this this folostatin inhibited in myostatin so it allowed your body to just go crazy and build muscle like there was no tomorrow um, so I'll put a link in the below in terms of if you want to kind of uh, research this yourself, do more research and so forth. So there are various various methods in terms of inhibiting myostatin, this pesky protein. Damn you myostatin, I wish I could just get rid of you. So there is light at the end of the tunnel, you don't have to be a victim of your genes. Your genes can, uh, ex can be re-expressed, or oh, is that even a word, but expressed in different ways. You can kind of... Um, control the expression of your genes if by conditioning yourself or taking certain foods and you know having different habits um, as a caveat as usual when I talk about health I want you to use this as suggestions and strategies for yourself you have to do your own research find what works for you consult a medical professional if you're not sure or if you have some kind of existing medical condition and just be safe and trying to find something that you know that works for yourself um, yeah that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comments below, let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys soon, hopefully, because I'm going to be flying off, so I probably won't have time to make another video for a while. But if you like this video, like it, share it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and take care. Grow strong.